So number three, I would use a mat or raft foundation when I expect there to be, uh, and the answer to this one is, um, there's a couple different ways you could answer it, but the one that I was imagining is uh, differential settlement. Uh, so what that's referring to is in a situation where uh, if either I just can't be 100% sure about the soils that are around me uh, or there's uh, really good soils but they're way down and it's just not worth it to go down and find those really good soils, uh, this is possibility. What I do instead is I make a huge big thick raft of concrete. Uh, so this might be, you know, 24 inches thick. Uh, it could even be thicker than that. It's probably not less than about 18 inches if you're going to call it a raft. Uh, so I have this very big, thick uh, chunk of concrete. It's very, very heavy, uh, but it's also loaded with rebar going in both directions. And the whole point of this is, if you imagine, this is sort of an odd drawing here, but imagine we're looking up underneath the raft. And let's say there's sort of a bad zone, you know, here, which is sort of corresponding to this soil. Like it's kind of lousy soil there. And there's another bad zone there, and maybe there's another bad zone there. You know, if those areas uh, are just uh, slightly less, uh, have less capacity in their soil, um, well, it doesn't really matter because I'm getting the bearing capacity out of all these other zones of the, the raft. And so those other zones of the raft will just bridge across, the raft just becomes a beam across those bad uh, sections of soil. Uh, so you're essentially making the entire slab a thick beam that goes, uh, spans across any of the bad soils that you're not even sure where they're gonna be. Uh, so this sort of odd, uh, sort of you dig down and you, you're just not sure about it or uh, whatever, then you put this big thing in, and then you're going to put all your foundations and everything else uh, right on top of that. And it's going to spread the load. And that way, you're spreading the load very, very wide. Every aspect of the floor is actually part of the foundation. It's not just where the strip footings are, the whole thing. And because you're spreading it all out, you can sit on some pretty crappy uh, soils that way. Uh, one of the things that often comes into play here is if I have, uh, you know, many feet down bedrock or something that's way down there, there's always this kind of uh, a decision between am I uh, going to do a, a caisson foundation that's going to reach all the way down to that bedrock uh, or is it better off uh, doing uh, one of these rafts and it would be a cost foundation like the Caissons are very expensive. You have to go down deep usually uh, with those. So if you're reaching down 60, 70, 80 feet, is it worth doing that to get to the bedrock or is it worth doing one of these big rafts? They're very expensive to do the rafts uh, and they're hard to uh, manipulate in with uh, plumbing and other things. It, it, just, it just creates a, a more complicated set of relationships than the typical. Uh, so people, the contractors don't generally like to do them very much. Um, but in the situation, if, it's, uh, if I'm going to float a raft at five feet below grade or I'm going to have to reach 110 feet down for a uh, caisson, I'm probably going to prefer to float the raft. So that's what this is all about. Uh, when you see those, when you see that term mat or raft, that's what they're talking about. And this is one of those interesting examples. I'll mention a couple of these along the way. Uh, you actually don't see these all that often. Uh, you know, I've, I've done a couple. Uh, people I've worked with have, have done a few. Um, so they show up every once in a while. And in certain kinds of soil conditions in certain parts of the country, they show up more often than others. But this is more of a thing that it's, a, it's kind of an easy question to ask, if you will. It's like it's a concept that is sort of uh, kind of by itself out there. It's sort of this way of imagining it. And it forces you to think about not only loads, but soils and the concrete and the rebar and uh, a whole thing, a bunch of things all at once, and this idea of the relationship between making a decision between uh, a cheaper version floating up high, closer to grade, a more expensive version of going all the way down to bedrock. So this is one of those things where they ask these kinds of questions about mat and rafts way more often than would make sense for the amount of times that it happens out in the world. And we'll see a couple of other examples of that as we go along. Mm -hmm.